I'm not dead. Just, I, th I think at this point I really need to get that out there. Nor have I quit doing this. Um, <laughs> it's been rough. Uh, I will, I will, let's put it this way. Um, a lot of people expected me after December, after the whole Toy December marathon, to take some time off. And, well, I didn't really plan to. I was still in the mood to make videos. And, unfortunately, uh, life got in the way. To be blunt about it, January kicked my ass. And <laughs> I'm just now starting to come out of it. So, th yeah, that that's that's pretty much where I went that month. I, w I really didn't want to take any time off. You know, once you know, once the video bugs go and it just goes. You know, like once I'm in that mood to create, I create. You know, uh, and I really didn't. I, I I feel bad missing out the entire month this way. But uh, that's all behind now. Uh, all the drama's cleared up, so it'll be back to normal videos. Uh, actually, you probably see a lot more toy reviews up about. I'm gonna try a few different things, and I've got a few uh, familiar things coming back. Uh, well, you'll see when you'll see when it happens. Let's put it that way. Uh, but this is just a quick little vlog, just to catch up, just to confirm. I'm still breathing and I'm still using the camera uh, and I just wanted to get a few things out here because uh, well for starters I just got back from Metrocon Nano which was a one-day Metrocon event uh, just a small little gathering uh, they were doing you know they're, they're doing their auditions for their yearly mascots so yeah, not too many people there you know some dressed up in costume nothing I took the camcorder for more than anything, I just really wanted to meet the people who were responsible for putting on my favorite place to be. I never get to talk to them during the Metrocon convention because they they bust their asses making sure that everything runs smoothly and making sure that all the convention goers have a great time. So it was just really, really good to actually hang out with them for a bit you know uh got to you know got to talk to nick and alex a little bit really wish i got to talk to them more but even at a one day low-key event they still they still work their asses off so it was hard to pin them down for too long got to meet a lot of the staff and a lot of the security and just a lot of the regulars you know so that was cool that that you know that's a worth a tri that's worth a trip to tampa what was what was really cool is that uh, Tampa Bay was doing this, doing this thing called like Tampa Bay Mardi Gras. So, you know, it's just you know, it's, it's, it's like a pirate themed Mardi Gras that they're putting on. So, uh, but at the convention center, you know, parked behind it on the on the river walk where this was taking place, there was a pirate galleon floating in the water. So they brought in the fencing arena, arena that they have for Metrocon every year. And they did themselves up as pirates, and it was like the one thing there that I was like, "Oh my God, why don't I have a camera?" Oh, that is so awesome. Because it's that like balloon on the helmet type fencing that you do. But seriously, it's like how perfect like, you couldn't ask for a perfect, a more perfect backdrop. Okay, we have a pirate-themed fencing arena, big pirate ship behind them. <laughs> it's like they it's like they docked just so they could put on some sword fights, which is kind of awesome. Like if they could have moved it on to the galleon, that would have been the only thing better. And even you know, then I really you know, then I'd have to borrow someone's camera and get in the ring myself. But <laughs> but yeah, if anyone from Metrocon or any, any of my uh, people in Tampa are watching, it was a fun event. You know, you know, very small, very casual, but there's something bad about that. You know, you, you actually you actually get the chance to, you know, enjoy enjoy some of the things you no, don't normally. The people, especially. It, it it was cool just to hang out for the day. So that was that. Um, lot of little stuff going on here still. Um, I mean, just to give you a little heads up, aside from toy, aside from a bunch more toy reviews coming back, um, I'm getting ready a, a whole new list of TJ talks because I've been catching up on my cartoons. And also, uh, let's see, hang on. Ah. Got a few things to open up for you. 
um, also, uh, something else I'm going to be doing. Uh, as you can see, I've been trying to keep a few certain areas of my room out of camera view. Because there's been a lot of little things changing and a lot of big things changing. So, expect sometime in the next month, once it's all finally complete, I'll be doing another room tour video. I've been getting a lot of requests for that, so... Yeah, I'm just going to show you around the room again, show you everything that's changed, how big the collection's gotten. No, it should be interesting, because I know a lot of people just, I know a lot of people watch the videos and and forget that I'm talking, because they're spending so much time looking at all the stuff in the background. So I'm going to alleviate that for all of, for all of my ADD friends out there, and we're just going to show off the collection again, yeah, and everything that's updated from that. So, um... More business, more business. Um, people have been awesome lately. Um, well, see, uh, first off, uh, a guy who goes by Demons, or Demon SS, over on TFW, and over here on YouTube, it's T2RX6. I have no idea how he got that name. Um, he heard on the WTF at TFW podcast, the Transformer podcast that I do the even episodes for, he heard that I was missing a few molds from Power Core, and one of them being Skyhammer, which is awesome. So he he ended up sending me Skyhammer because I am planning a video for Power Core. So I you know I want I really wanted to complete the molds at least you know not to complete the whole series but at least get all the molds just so I have the fully grasped opinion of the line before I do anything. So he was awesome enough to send me that, and I'm, he's got the aerial bots on the way for me too, which is also very cool of him. Yeah, he, he, you know, him, him and my friend Dave have both both made that upcoming video so much better, uh, just by being very cool. Uh, also, uh, other people being very cool. Uh, a guy named Corey asked me, um, "What anime figure arts do you have?" Well, um, I've got a Vegeta and a Gohan, that's pretty much it. It's like, you want another one? So, out of the blue, this comes in the mail. That's a Figuarts Trunks. And a very cool one. This is an exceptionally cool Figuart. The Dragon Ball Z Figuarts got really good. Like, I got Goku, kind of accidentally, long story, but really wasn't all that thrilled with them. I really didn't like how his hair was molded. I didn't like how how overly creased they make the legs. I didn't like how they angled his knees. You know, there's like a, there's a lot of little glitches in that figure that didn't agree with me. I never got Piccolo at all, so I don't know how Piccolo was if that was an improvement or a downgrade. But so I I didn't have that many. So very cool of him to send me that one, and they've gotten so much better. Really looking forward to getting... I, I've got to get Perfect Cell now because he looks like he makes a perfect toy. He's already got all the joints and designs for a figure arts... For all the figure art joints. It's perfect for him. And they just announced Frieza. That was the last one I wanted. I can be happy now. So, a bunch more to get. Uh... Also, as a complete surprise to me, he also threw in this, which is a Kiwami Tamashi SIC Fies. Exceptionally cool of him. Though, I found out that um, I couldn't find the gun in the package, and he can't find the gun there, so I am out a gun for this guy. So if someone just, like, inexplicably has the gun lying around, uh, let me know. Don't take the one you've got from your toy and send it to me. Don't don't ruin yours just to help mine. But if anyone knows where I can find a loose part for a Japanese figure, that would be helpful. So, incredibly cool. Thank you very much. Incredibly generous, because oh, that's not a cheap figure art. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And then there's this. Andrew sent this to me. Uh, Andrew, who I've had dealings with before. Very cool guy. Um, this one... I know a couple things that are in here, but uh, I don't know if he added anything to it or not since telling me the contents previously. Uh, what he did was he found my wish list on Amazon, 
and picked through a bunch of things on there to surprise me. Uh, see, I don't, I don't normally accept surprises. I've explained this before, but he went through, he went through the wish list. So I know for fact a lot of this stuff I don't actually have. So that was actually a pretty good, good idea. You know, once tjomega.org goes live, that's going to become a public thing. That's going to be like listed on the front page of the site. Because I get a lot of people who are asking me, okay, well, what do you, what do you need? Like, I want to help out. Well, I can't tell you all 2,000 toys I own, just so you can surprise me. So the wish list takes the guesswork out of it, and it's just a lot easier than actually. Remember these things used to have just like zip ties you go across. I mean, it's so much easier to open. Ah. So yeah, that that's just it. Just makes it easier. It makes it easier, and put some surprise back in it. And he sent me a happy meal. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Everything's in happy meals. See that's two. Yeah. Wait, oh, they're numbered. They're numbered. Everything is in numbered Happy Meal bags. <laughs> Guess where the money to buy these came from? <laughs> Open in order. <laughs> ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. Opening in order. Oh, from the Ross. <laughs> that would be a Dark of the Moon mud flap. I'm accepting it because I vowed never to buy any of the twins again. I didn't buy this. Though I will admit, uh, looking at pictures of him, he actually doesn't look too bad. Well, well, it's mud flap, so uh, yeah, you remember the face on him. He looks terrible. But toy-wise, he actually looks like a huge step up, because I hate Revenge of the Fallen Mudflap. It is the most overly designed, overly co pointlessly complex, overthought transformation that doesn't work, by the way. There's tabs that don't even connect correctly. So this one seems much more simplified. It actually seems like it might be salvageable as a decent toy. So that's going to be interesting to open up. Number four, three, and bag number two. I bet you work at Wendy's, don't you? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that is Wily Cat from the new Thundercats line. And oh, there's nothing that makes me more sad than what happened to Thundercats. Cause wow, it so did not deserve it. I think the problem was that just the toys were just too expensive. Like, like my Walmart, you know, Walmart's, you know, this one says six ninety seven. I think that's discounted already because most places I saw wanted like nine bucks for one of these. No one's gonna pay nine bucks for that. And it's no wonder the figures in line. Now look at the Ninja Turtles. You know, you, you buy, you find those at Walmart for seven seventy seven, and they're brilliant toys, brilliant. So that's un that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But it's still really cool. It, the, the toy, you know, the toys are still decent enough to go. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. These really didn't deserve the. <sighs> they didn't deserve their fate. Neither did the cartoon. But you know, they go hand in hand. When one doesn't work, neither does the other. So that's that. Let's see. Next one. You didn't get me my fries. Oh, yeah. That's a lion though. <laughs> Sent me a lion though too. Did I put the did I put a lion though on the wish list? I, I totally forgotten. Oh well. Lion though. Yeah, the main character is an important one to have, I'll give him that. And what's this? This one's quite small. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh no, what is. 
<laughs> well, it's a it's a bead sprite. Hang on a second. Hang on. Oh god. <laughs> I feel silly now because I can't quite figure out Oh man. I feel bad now because I can't quite figure out what it is here. Ah, oh, jeez, I feel like an idiot. It's a well-made bead. I mean, I really like bead sprites because uh, you, you see, you see, uh, my friend Michelle sent me Elec Man and Cut Man. Every now and then, you'll see those on the wall in one of the in the backgrounds of one of my videos. You know, it's a, it's, it's a very cool thing, but. Oh man, I feel, I feel terrible because I can't, I can't, I can't identify it. It's my, I don't know. This might be from a game I didn't play. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I am not sure. <laughs> well, it's. Oh jeez, this video just kind of ended on a total failure, didn't it? But yeah, if someone can identify that, and actually, kind of looks more solid and composed on my camera than it does in person. If, uh, if anyone can identify that, let me know. You're probably doing a better job than I am. So I see. Uh, Andrew, I'm gonna have to email you now. <laughs> Oh well. Still, <clears throat> very cool box. I mean, that never that never gets old. The gener generosity some of you guys have is just never gets old, and just it's it's you know aside from YouTube comments, it's just not you, know, you don't get much gratification when you do this, especially when it's just something you do for fun in your in your spare time. So to actually see that it meant that much to somebody. To, to where they, they do this for you it's it's amazing it's it still is you know you know whether it's some discounted thundercats from walmart or you know some of the huge things i've gotten in the past you know my fives belt was a fan donation it's, it's still of that thing no matter what it is big or small it they're all incredibly precious they're all they're all incredibly cool and uh appreciated so uh, thank you to anyone, you know, thank you to you guys, you know, you know, thanks Corey, Andrew, Demons, and thank you to anyone who's done it in the past, because you, you guys really do, uh, <clears throat> you, you guys amaze me. So, I guess, I guess that's the vlog, I, I guess I gotta get back to work on actual videos now. This is still bugging me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I've got, I've got an email to send now. Oh, uh, stay tuned. More toy reviews coming, including some of the big ones that I know everyone has been requesting. So, I'll see you guys later. Wait, guys, I got it. It's a Volpix. It's a tiny Volpix sprite, so it threw me off. Now let's see how many of you tried to answer in the comments before watching the end of the video.